Hi there, this is how to reset the ASUS RTAX53U. There are two ways how you can do this. Uh, the first one is uh, via reset button. So locate the reset button right here uh, near the power switcher in a small hole. Grab the pin and push this button until you hear a click and wait for the power indicator to start blinking like this, then release the button. Now wait for these indicators to turn off. And that's it. The rotor is reset to its factory defaults. Now it's back on again. And all you have to do is to wait for uh, these Wi-Fi indicators. Uh, to, tur to turn on and then you can start set it up from uh, scratch. And the second method is to use the WPS button. Uh, so power off your rotor, then press and hold the WPS button and power on the rotor back again, keeping holding the WPS button pressed. Now you see the power indicator is turned on. And now it's blinking. Now you can release the button. And that's it. Uh, you're all set. And if you wish to create a backup file, this can be done from the web interface only. Of course, you can use mobile browser, but I'm going to show you on desktop because it's much more convenient. Uh, make sure that you're connected to the router's network. And then in any browser, open a new tab and type in the following IP address write it down somewhere or you can just type in rotor.asus.com hit enter it takes you to the sign in page sign in to your graphic user interface and here you need to scroll down and click on administration section and here select restore save upload setting tab uh, here you can save setting to a file and click this checkbox if you want to share the config file for debugging since the original password in the config file will be removed please do not import the file into uh, your, your router uh, if you don't know uh, what exactly it means you don't need this setting so don't check this box just save the configuration file and later you can restore settings by uploading this file right here uh, so this file is in downloads for, for now you can upload the file and restore uh, the rotors settings. Well now it says that the IP address of my rotor has been changed. Whatever it means let's try to ignore. Just click somewhere or open a new tab, close this one and try to log into my settings again. Or I'm disconnected from the network, so I have to connect back again, connect. Now, let's go back to the graphic user interface. Now, after restore, I have the same username and the same password as before. Actually, I have all settings as there was before the reset. Uh, so also from this tab, restore save upload setting, you can make a factory reset. Uh, but this action is equal to the button uh, pushing. So I don't know why do you want to do uh, it from here. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and be awesome. Have a nice day. Bye.